We're on page 31 here. We're um, going to be covering actually a technology piece where we're performing quadratic reg regressions using Desmos. So um, that sounds like a fancy word, quadratic regression, but um, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using technology that didn't exist, you know, 30, 40 years ago um, to take a bunch of values and work backwards to come up with an equation that, that matches or matches the data as closely as possible at least and so um, it's a kind of a cool thing and um, we're going to be using Desmos to do it so um, if you want to follow along feel free to do that if you follow the link on on page 31 to open up this quadratic regression model um, the data you're going to get from the previous page on page 30 right and, and the basic idea is we want to predict what's going to happen um, uh, when the x value is 55 right so that's the basic idea of what we're doing here so let's go ahead and fill in these values of 20 and 410, 25 and 640 into uh, Desmos uh, over here on the right hand side of the screen. So okay, so um, we've input all the values, and if we take a look at the instructions here, now that we've input the data. Um, to generate a scatter plot of the data, a regression curve will be automatically generated and plotted with the data. So let's take a look at um, this this uh, this data real quick, right? And the reason we can't see it is because um, it's kind of um, the the y values are so high you can't really see it. So let me zoom out a bit, and in fact, let me change the window here. Um, Let's go from, actually, let me fill out the, the screen like this. That might help. And then let's see. Let's change the window, x-axis. I don't need it to go out that far, it looks like. Let's try negative 50 to positive 50. And then y-axis, let's go from 0 to 3,000. How about that? Um, that might work for us. And there you go. So you can see that this graph kind of pretty closely fits right at each point here right so, so you can see that point there 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 these are all the points that we input using um, the regression model and there's all this really interesting uh, data on the side here where r squared is one right um, r squared equals one um, we have an a value and a b value and a c value that we can plug in to an equation to um, to make that work. So back to the credit itself. They want to know what is the value of the coefficient of determination in question two. Um, so they want that r squared value. And if we look back at the Desmos um, tool here, we see that r squared. Oops, we see that r squared. Let me see it's a little good here. R squared equals one, right? R squared equals one. So let's go ahead and input that here. R squared equals one. And um, the, they want the A, B, and the C values. So um, let's do that. A values, B values, C values. So um, hmm, let's see, it's a little hard to kind of manipulate this here. Um, A value is going to be one point, let's say 1.03. We're going to round up 1.03. B value is going to be negative 0 0.05. And C value is going to be 0 0.36. And so we're just going to plug those in to your regular um, standard form for a um, quadratic equation and come up with this equation 1.03 x squared plus, or in this case minus, minus uh, 0 0.05 x plus 0 0.36. And so, um, what we're then going to do um, is we're going to fill that back in, right? So let's, let's write it down at the bottom here. y equals um, the equation we just came up with, 1.03 x squared minus 0.05 x plus 
three six. Um, and we'll come up with. You'll see that the the quadratic uh, graph here has turned blue, right? We can change the color again uh, based on the equation that we wrote, and it, and it makes sense because we we it's it's based on the numbers that we came up with. And so let's see how let's see if we can predict what it'll be at fifty five. So Desmos has this really interesting tool where you can um, create a table out of that those values, and we want to know when x equals fifty five. What will it be? And then we'll see here that when x equals 55, based on this equation we wrote, we get 3,113.36. 3,113.36. So, based on the, we didn't really even talk about the context. We should have, but based on our, um, based on our equation here, the kinetic energy of the pickup is at 3,113.36 kilojoules. Okay, um, and then, um, and um, that's how you use the uh, regression uh, regression tool um, on Desmos.